understood, you know, where we were in, in the game and that we had to come up with loose balls. And we just kept getting the ball back and uh, find another way to get an opportunity to score. Picked up by Jackson, stolen back by Dennis. Rodman to the rim, he scores. Bulls getting all the hustle points again. Jackson, Smiths. Pippen got a hand on it. Longley picks it up. There's a two on the play. Michael to Pippen the trick. Chicago's frantic comeback had given them a three-point halftime lead. And in the third quarter, their offense was finally ignited by Tony Kukoc, who would almost single-handedly keep the Bulls in the lead. After hitting a shot or two, I was just thinking, it's going to be fine, it's going to be good. Chicago. But the Pacers had a plan of their own, and now they would make a late charge that had the Bulls suddenly back on their heels. They've got a break if they push it. It's best for Miller, and he lays it up and in, plus the foul. Give Indiana credit. They have been like a pit bull. They just get a hold of him and won't let go. Score it, and Smith is on the free throw line. He has put the Pacers up. Into the lane in traffic, and the ball stripped away, and loose, and a jump ball call. It was almost a, a, a game of wills, I think. That, you know, we just can't let it end here. So we're not done. Michael can really jump, but Smith is 7 4. This could be as good as a turnover. Everybody wants to win. They talk about winning. But this team, I truly believe, refuses to lose. That's what Rick Smith should have won and gave the Pacers possession. Michael stole the tip. And as Chicago grabbed one more crucial loose ball, it seemed they had found just enough momentum to turn the game their way. The curve can tie it. And then... No way the bench jumped up that they all knew that now it's our turn to, to take this critical game and put it in our favor. And in the closing minutes, the Bulls finally finished off the Pacers, surviving one of the most grueling challenges of their championship reign. Here comes Pippen, a drive. He got inside. Shot is good. And a foul. He's right on the shot clock. Michael dumps it off to an open Longwood. And on to the Pipers. For the sixth time in eight years for the Chicago Bulls. But what Michael Jordan turned a bump in the road was anything but. It was a mountain to climb. And they barely reached the summit.